I'm Lauren from the Great Lakes Science Center, and we are happy to bring you this early childhood experience brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great. This is just a piece of an outreach that we've developed to bring STEM learning to families with kids ages 0 to 5 in communities just like yours. First, we're going to read a book, and then we have an activity to do about coding, and it goes along with our book, so make sure you listen carefully. We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen. You might know this story, or maybe you even know it in a song. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, a river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Splash, 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 splash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, mud. Thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Squelch, squirsh, squelch, squirsh, squelch, squirsh. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, a forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no. We've got to go through it. Whoo, whoo, whoo. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, a cave, a narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, Two big googly eyes. It's a bear. Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snowstorm. Woo, woo. Back through the forest. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Back through the mud. Squash, 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 squash. Back through the river. Splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs, shut the door, back upstairs, into the bedroom, into the bed, under the covers. 
we're not going on a bear hunt again. And that is the end. All right, now we are ready to do our coding activity. Coding is just when we are telling the computers what to do or telling the program what we want it to do. So we're giving it instructions. So what we're going to do using our We're Going on a Bear Hunt book is we're going to code and tell the family how to get from their house over to the bear. So here I have some squares and first they're going to hmm, the grass, right? All right, here's the grass from their house. They're going to go one, two squares and get to the grass. Now where do they go after the grass? Hmm, they went over to the river. This is our river, so we're going to go one, two, three, and they get to the river. Good job, good coding. How many squares is it going to take for them to get from the river over to the mud? Hmm, we need to go up or forward one square, but now, now they need to turn. So we're going to tell them to turn right. One, two, and three squares to the right. Now from the mud, where did they go? Went from mud to the forest. So they went and they tiptoed through the forest or, oh, they were tripping. That's what they were doing. We're going to say go forward one more square and stop. Now we need to tell our family to turn right again. So turning right is going to turn them to go down. We're going to go one square and two squares. We got to the forest. Hmm, now the snowstorm. Do you see from the forest? We go over to the snowstorm. How are we going to get there? Let me know how you get to the snowstorm if you have a paper like this. So, let's go down two squares. One, two. And then we have to turn again. So if our family's coming down here, they're going to turn and go right over here. Snowstorm. We're almost to the bear. We're almost to the bear. We need to go down two more squares. One and two. The family made it to the bear. So right down here is the bear. Then what did they do? They ran back to their house. So what we would have to do is just go in reverse to get back to the house. There you go. That is how we're coding our story. You can also code stories at home. You're just sequencing. You're putting them in the order that they're supposed to go in. So we can do some more coding at home with our toys. Here on this rug, I have some squares around the edges. So I have a little hedgehog, and he wants to get this carrot over here. Here's my carrot. So we're going to tell him to go one, two, three squares forward. And let's see. One, two, three. Yum, yum. He gets his carrot. You can do this same thing at your house if you have squares on your floor, or you could use paper. You can also practice sequencing, putting things in order, and making patterns. That is another important part of coding, just helping us figure out the patterns. So I want you to take some pictures of what you end up doing at your house or some videos, and make sure to tag us with hashtag StayCuriousCLE or hashtag PNC Grow Up Great. Be sure to head to our website, greatscience.com, and for more resources, check the description box for some links to PNC. Thank you again to PNC, and stay curious. Mm -hmm.